we are doing Sri Lanka 3-0 series. This time I am back to my favorite country and also homelands with a super exciting project. I want to build a school and I want to start with this project in Sri Lanka. We have three different goals. First, we need to promote the country. I love Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka gave me so much and also this country has such a huge potential to do great things for tourism places to talk about and stories to share and the locals to interact with. So that's our first goal. Second goal comes is I want to build a school which gonna happen actually with the support of you and the donors from different countries. And then third goal comes basically collect the funds and build a school somewhere in the village in Sri Lanka to help the community, to help the people in need. I'm gonna share some facts with you so you understand what the whole project is about. I am collaborating with Foundation of Goodness to make this project happen. I am super excited to work with them again because they already have 15 empowerment centers around the island in Sri Lanka. Our goal as a community, you and me, is to collect the funds and then it directly goes to Foundation of Goodness and to their account. So our goal is basically to build a school and make it a functioning place make it a nice place where students can come and learn obviously we need to buy the equipment chairs computers and other stuff and the rest foundation of goodness gonna make it happen with the different instructors with the teachers and my job in during this process obviously be as transparent as possible show you all the details show you the progress once the school is running we're gonna have 500 beneficiaries for every year so which means 500 different students from 10 different villages will be able to come there, study, learn different subjects, improve themselves, improve their language skills. Also, there will be nine different subjects. On top of that, there will be also some sports, life skills, which they can learn. As a total for the project, we need 25,000 American dollars to make it happen. That's a one school, we're gonna build it up. And this is only build up costs, but afterwards we are also need funds to actually run the school on a monthly basis. So this is not a one-time project, obviously, it's gonna run for years and 500 beneficiaries will be there for every year, 500 lives you can touch. It's a free of cost for the villagers, for the students, for the families to come to learn and send their kids to the school. And hundreds of students will be learning different skills, different classes and different subjects for their future and open their eyes for this beautiful life in this incredible country. You can just imagine how many lives you can change, how many opportunities we were gonna create for the people in the villages in this beautiful country. So I'm super excited to be back with the biggest project of my life. If you do make a contribution to the link down below, you can find it in the comment section too. It doesn't matter how much you contribute. Your name will be published. It will be on the wall of the school as a gratitude to you for your support. Happy to be back. More videos are coming. Thank you so much, guys. We just arrived to first village heartbeat empowerment center here in Udumulla and this is basically the concept we are striking for and that's the reason we are collecting our funds to build something just like here. We want to show you what the whole empowerment center is about and walk you through the facilities here. We are entering to the classroom where we have the computers and the desk. Hi Aibuban, what are you doing? Are you typing something? Ah, nice. The thing is, these kids, as I said, don't have uh, any computers, you know, in their houses. One class has just finished, mm -hmm. so the next class will start in about one hour's time. Every village heartbeat empowerment center, there'll be library. So, little library. Ah, you're reading. Hi, Aibovan. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Incredible. There are so many books, English books and uh, Sinhalese. Sinhalese and it's beautiful. There's actually yeah. a class going on at the moment. Hello. Good afternoon, guys. How are you? Good? Nice. It's great to see you guys. We have a little classroom here with 50 different seats where kids are sitting down. Hello. They have a ventilation system too, so they have the fans on the top. Nice, beautiful board. And we have the Mr. Teacher. Very nice to meet you. What are we learning today? In English, practice them uh, to, uh, uh, how to write uh, short notes. Nice. Yes. Amazing. Uh, so we also <laughs> teach uh -huh. science here, uh, then maths here, All right. then computers, then you saw English. 
Then there are tamil classes, dressmaking and, and patchwork. Nice, that's, yeah. that's mainly for the ladies, yeah. right? Then we do STEM education, uh -huh. you know, things like that. All right. Uh, See, the children's goodness club. Children's good, good values initiatives. Amazing. We call the children's goodness club. Be good and do good. Because we are from the Foundation of Goodness, we have to teach and inculcate good values if they want to be happier, nice. you know, meaningful citizens. Most of the people in the villages, especially in the central Sri Lanka, the situation is really hard and some people either don't have the equipment, don't have the facilities to go. Also, they don't have chance actually to travel to different cities like every day to go and come back. They basically don't go to school. So that's the reason we need these empowerment centers to give the opportunity to those kids yeah. who is uh, less privileged. And most of the kids are curious. Most of the kids have the potential, but you need to create the environment for them. So that's exactly what we are trying to do. As I always say, you know, education is mandatory and it can make you rich, resourceful Completely. and knowledgeable. But to be happy, you have to be able to care and share. Yeah, yeah for sure. That little push always helps to make the difference. Last project we did was mostly about the food, but this one is going to last a lifetime for 500 students per year. And I know that the place is going to be around for many, many years to come. It's even bigger, bigger uh, impact on the country rather than just feeding them for, uh, for a few weeks. You can find the link already down below under this video or you can check it in the comment section too. Even if you are not able to contribute, the best thing you can do is basically share it on your social medias or send it to a friend. Keep supporting and hopefully we're going to make this together. It's about kindness, love, giving, caring and sharing. For sure. Kushil. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Been a pleasure. Thank you everybody for showing us around and taking us uh, through the classes. Cannot wait for this to happen. I want to walk in next time uh, in our series. I want to come and then actually say, you know, this is what we have built and this is your donations, guys, that we are building up for the future of the Sri Lankans.